Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hey, I'm your host, Mad Morgan. Thank you for joining me for episode 102 of Soapbox Daily. Today, 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 we are talking about, hey, stop jumping to conclusions with bad reviews. I know it's the holiday season, a lot of gift buying going on, a lot of online purchases going on, but we're going to discuss this today because, well, you know... When you buy something, there's a review process. In a lot of areas, you can buy stuff, have reviews, and we all check them. It's true. But we're going to discuss that today for you to stop jumping to conclusions with bad reviews because I think they're getting a bad rap. But before we get into that, hey, how's your integrity been today? How's your integrity been this week? Are you being the positive change? Are you leading the example? Are you setting the example, the positive example that the world needs moving forward? Only you will know. And today's another day, so let's, you know, let's try to evolve. Let's try to be the best person we can be. Only we can do it. We can do it if we all work together. We can make this world a better place. So let's get into today's topic. Now, when I go and I buy something, I usually have an idea what I'm looking for. I'll just window shop and I'll check a few things. I'm like, all right, this is interesting. Oh, okay, I could probably use this. This is good. That's good. But then when I finally draw in on something, okay, so this is the product I'm looking to get. First thing I'm doing. All right, price is good. Product's good. Right up is a little good. Let's check the reviews. So I'm reading the reviews. And this is one thing I think some people get, you know, thrown off by with reviews is that they automatically take it verbatim. Now, let's be real. A lot of companies or advertisers or sellers will actually use services that generate fake, believe it or not, fake reviews, fake positive reviews that sell their product. So that's why you should always look at the negative reviews. But even if you're looking at the negative reviews, what you should keep in mind is exactly why the person is leaving a negative review. Now, I'm going to be blunt here please excuse me, but let's just say some people are stupid. (laughs) Okay. Some people are just arrogant and stupid. They, their complaints for why they're complaining for the product is irrelevant. It's just, there's no reason for it really. It's either they don't know what they're doing. They didn't do their research. They don't know how to put it together. They don't know how to assemble it. They don't know the details about what they were getting into. They are just they shouldn't be allowed to buy stuff. <laughs> Honestly, they shouldn't be allowed to buy stuff. Really read the, I mean, I've seen some really interesting reviews like, oh, you know, the box was 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 bent in on one corner, but it doesn't, that's just the packaging, it doesn't affect the, the product. Um, the quality wasn't what I expected to, or it squeaked too much. Now let's be honest, quality assurance is in a lot of companies when they manufacture stuff and it goes through a lot of quality care, a lot of quality control. That's something that happens because it makes sense because you don't want products to have to fail because they're not produced correctly or whatever the case may be. But keep in mind, sometimes these things happen. Sometimes these things happen and products end up getting a little banged up in transit. That's not the the manufacturer's fault. That's not the actual seller's fault. That is the in-between. I'll give you an example. So I really wanted this Rhodes boom mic, uh, what I have, which is a, it's a, it's a stand for your microphone, which is going to help my podcast, which is excellent. And I was very thankful that my parents got it for me for my birthday, which is great. Now the reviews on this, I read from some sources were along the lines of blah, 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 it squeaked, made a lot of noise, etc. Now you got to imagine things with moving parts will have issues. You know, joints get delubricated or whatever the case. And it's just, it's one of those rare occasions. A lot of the times when I've actually ordered stuff that have had these really crazy reviews, nine times out of 10, everything's fine. You know, okay, so it was fine. Everything worked. I was lucky, but it wasn't really luck. Because if you look at how many bad reviews that have these oddities that happen to them, It's a rarity. Now I can imagine if it is a source that you're buying from that you cannot return to, but that's really hard to find these days. Most places will allow you to return items easily enough if for some reason you get a dud. If some reason you get a bad review, a a bad product, you can return it. So it's not that big of a deal. But leaving a bad review, it's really toxic. It's a really negative thing. What are you expecting to get out of it? You're not really leaving an unbiased opinion because for some reason you got a bad product. Oh, well, it happens. Life's not perfect. People aren't perfect. But, you know, to leave a bad review and slander a company and make it so that they they fall out of business. I mean, it's a domino effect. Small things lead to big things. You're denying great products from them down the road because you're you're leaving a bad review, which is going to 
hamper sales and hamper the whole product line and future development. Keep it in mind before you, you know, leave bad reviews. Be smart about it. If it's generally a bad review and you're stuck, you know, your back's against a wall and you can't return it and you're out of money, out of pocket, I imagine that sucks. But it's not the end of the world. Just return the damn thing, okay? If you didn't do your research before, that's on you. If you don't understand how it's put together, that's on you. Do some research. Don't slam the company for it. My advice to you shoppers out there, read the reviews smartly. Okay, read the bad reviews first. I agree, read the bad reviews, but don't give a lot of credit to the bad reviews. Don't jump to conclusions because you read one or two that said something bad. It could be somebody has a bias against the company, but read the details of why they say it's a bad thing. Read those details, why they're leaving a bad review, what they're complaining about. Read that because don't deny yourself that product you want to buy because it might be an awesome product. Just one or two people that aren't that smart ended up purchasing it and jump into a bad review. And if you do get a good product, by all means, leave a good review. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But do read between the lines when it comes to those reviews out there, folks. But be smart about that. Because the thing is, is that it's difficult making choices of what to buy because there's a lot of similarities out there, especially on places like Amazon. A lot of similarities out there. But do your research. Save yourself the frustration in the long run. But I, I want to touch on this a little because I read some really stupid and silly reviews from people on products. And I just shaking my head going, wow, you should not be allowed to buy anything. <laughs> for some of this stuff because i've been fortunate as i said i've read bad reviews and everything's worked out anyways i'm your host matt morgan i want to thank you very much for tuning in for today's episode i appreciate you very much thank you very much for being here i'm going to wrap this up for today i hope you have an amazing day moving forward and if you're bored on your lunch break hey please check out getoffmysoapbox.com more information on all our shows in the faq section we uh we might be taking a little break heading towards the Christmas season, the last weeks of the month of December, I might be taking a break for one of the weeks, only spend more time with family and focus on that stuff. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Probably the Christmas week coming up uh, later on this month, I'm, I'm going to take a break on that. So I would say the week of the 25th, Sunday the 25th to the 31st, I'm going to take a break off for that week. Just give you guys a heads up. There's going to be no episodes that are during that week, but uh, I want to let you know now. All right, that's it for today. Have a great day. I will see you next episode.